G'day everyone, welcome to the Japanese Whiskey Review. I am Brian and we're continuing in our series of Best Suntory Whiskies in the Best Japanese Whiskies videos. And uh, next one's going to be Yamazaki. Check out the full list of my tasted whiskies in the description to see some other crackers that I didn't do full tasting notes on but are gold medal winners. And this is a vintage malt, 1980 to 2004. Sherry cask, 56%. It's not a single cask. So I guess it's a blended single cask and there's no cask number on it at all. And this was the, in the vintage malt series of which there were many back in the day. Nose, a bag of dried fruits. Dry sherry, licorice, cinnamon, caramelized sugar or caramelized sugar as we say in Australia. Smoked orange, barbecue sauce, duck sauce, soy sauce, uh, savory amami sauces, soft leather, leather, dried autumn leaves and caramel or caramel depending where you come from. Palette I got cola drenched orange slices, licorice oil, pepper, Brazil nut, nuts, leather satchel, okay, well judged oak, dried fruits, fruit tingles, fruit tingles are like a a semi-hard candy that we get here. I don't know whether you get them in other parts of the world. The sweet candy that kind of tingles in your mouth and they've got different flavours. And salt. Plenty of bold spiciness and I do love a spicy whiskey. You can certainly bring a whiskey up and make it uh, feel bigger than it may, may, may well be. So not with this one, 56%. It's going to be pretty big anyway. So again, it'll be full body. Finished Brazil nuts, dried sherry, licorice, chocolate, almonds, nougat or nougat depending where you come from, oak, dried fruits, the fruit tingles and a little ash. Last word quite different to the sweeter darker sherry style I'm used to from Yamazaki but appealingly so. Big heading and balanced at the same time and I scored this one 91 out of 100. So again thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.